Welcome to Strength of Material Lectures by Civil Thinking and in this class we are going to solve a problem on axial load diagram. So this problem is really very important. In this diagram you will see how to solve problems on axial load diagram and how to exactly draw axial load diagram and how to find the load in each section using axial load diagram. Now axial load diagram method is very very easy method to find the axial loads in each section as you can see in this diagram you have a composite section which have three sections one is bronze another is aluminium tube and another is steel now there is another method too you with the help of which you can find axial load in each of the section in bronze in aluminium and in steel but the axial load diagram this method is really very easy so if you are preparing for some competitive examinations okay there you will see that axial load diagram method is very easy convenient and fast method to solve the problem so let's begin now as you can see on the screen we have a composite section as i told before you have the 10 kilonewton load applied at the left of bronze you have a 15 kilonewton load okay applied at the left end of aluminium another 15 kilonewton is here at the right end of the aluminium tube and there is a 10 kilonewton of load at the right side of the steel now before drawing the axial load diagram there are some sign convention rules okay you can assume any rules but let me choose this rule if there if we are going to analyze this composite bar from left to right that is first I will go here then here then here and then here means from left to right and I can assume the loads for example if there is a load like this okay towards left I can assume it to be positive and if there is a load like this okay I will assume it to be negative okay now let us begin so let me draw the baselines first Now I have draw, drawn these lines, okay, they will just help me to draw the axial load diagram. Now, let's begin from left to right, okay. Now here is a 10 kN load towards left, right, and this is positive, right. Now this is the baseline, above the baseline is positive and below the baseline means here is negative. Now since 10 kN it is positive, right, so I will draw it above why because above the baseline is positive so i'm going to draw a line of 10 kilonewton okay now from 10 from this point to this point there is nothing okay so i will go flat like this okay this is horizontal line excuse my handwriting now at this point there is a 15 kilonewton towards left okay again it is positive so i will go 15 kilonewton up okay let me assume this is 15 kilonewton okay from here to here now the total is how much from here to here is 15 plus 10 okay 15 plus 10 is how much 25 now from here to here is nothing okay you can see there is no load up to this point okay and then here is 15 uh, now from here to here is nothing so i will go flat again like this okay now at this point we have a 15 kilonewton load towards the right okay so it is negative negative means downwards since here is 15 kilonewton so i will go 15 kilonewton down okay i went 15 kilonewton downwards okay now again from this point to this point we can see there is no load so i will go flat here okay this is a horizontal line again excuse my handwriting it's simply parallel to this okay now at this point we have a 10 kilonewton okay towards right again it is negative negative means i will go downwards why why i will go downwards because when it is negative so i will go down because towards the down there is negative and when there is positive for example here it was 15 it was towards left it was positive so i went up okay
okay for positive I went up okay and for negative I went down okay since here is 10 kN towards the right it is negative so I will go 10 down okay this is 10 right now again from here to here is how much 15 plus 10 is 25 okay obviously this is 25 too this is 25 now this is 10 now what is the load in each of the section now in bronze the height of the actual load diagram in the bronze part right from here to here is bronze from here to here is bronze right from here to here the height is 10 so the load in the bronze let me denote the load with p and b for bronze okay load in the bronze is how much 10 kilonewton okay now from here all of this it is 25 right from here to here it is aluminium right this is aluminium tube from here to here it is aluminium and the height of the actual load diagram is 25 so the load in the aluminium is 25 let me denote the aluminium with a or al it is 25 now steel is from here to here so the actual load diagram of the steel is from here to here and you can see in this what is the height the height is 10 right so the load in the steel is let me denote steel with s is 10 kilo newton okay now you can see how easy it is to find the load in each section using actual load diagram okay now what is exactly asked as the problem is determine the stress in each material okay now in the now we know the stress is basically what stress is equal let me change the color stress is load divided by cross-sectional area right now how much is the stress in the let me do the stress as sigma stress in the bronze sigma b means stress in bronze is load in bronze pb divided by area of the bronze right ab now the load in bronze is how much 10 kilonewton divided by how what is the cross-sectional area it is written here a 700 millimeter square okay divided by 700 millimeter square when you solve it in the calculator you will get the stress in the bronze similarly stress in the aluminium sigma al is load in the aluminium divided by area of the aluminium right now the stress in the aluminium is 25 and the area is 1000 okay 1000 millimeter square okay the answer you will get is in kilonewton per millimeter square okay similarly the stress in the steel stress in the steel is how much load in the steel divided by area of the steel it is 10 right stress in the load in the steel is 10 divided by area of the steel is mentioned here it is 800 okay whatever you get you will get in this is kilonewton this is millimeter square so you will get this in kilonewton per mm square okay of course then you can convert these units to any other units that's not really difficult now this problem is enough to understand how to use the actual load diagram okay you can solve any simple problems or complex problems using actual load diagram and in the coming classes i will be solving more problems on the actual load diagram and again if you want to download the pdf of this video lecture it is in the description you can download it from there and again if you have any problems in strength of materials statics engineering statics engineering mechanics okay you can ask me i will definitely provide the solution or help you okay and that is it for today see you in the next class thank you